eBay is improving maybe the way you list items on their site. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you happen to like videos like this, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, smash that like, and comment below on topics you might want to see discussed future on the Entrepreneur channel. So let's talk about eBay because God knows I have not been on eBay an awful lot this week. So eBay needs no introduction. It's a site where you post things online and you sell them. Sometimes you're just getting rid of some old junk. Sometimes you are turning into a small business. Sometimes you found that old number one issue of Mad Magazine that you completely forgot about and decide to start the auction at a dollar and you are surprised when it ends at $50,000. Whatever it is, you've heard of eBay. Well, eBay has changed the way that you list items they have had a very good listing tool for many many years and it's for the most part not been tampered with too much but ebay decided for some reason there might be a better way to do it and we are going to not only look at that way we are going to look at how you originally started it now if you want to see how the old ebay setup in terms of listing items compares to the new one um feel free to keep watching if for whatever reason you have decided that you don't really need to see a demonstration of the old way of listing things you just want to see the new way you can skip to this timestamp above and there is no hard feelings if you want to do that with that said let's take a look at you know how you list things on ebay now i have things on the old way and as you can see there are some templates you can use i've saved a few myself for future purposes but the first thing they ask is for you to enter an isbn upc or epid number and for those of you who are not aware of what that is those are the little numbers that come underneath the barcodes now this seems like it would be a good thing to list this is a vhs of dragon ball z way old school um three and up sticker um, has a 1295 price tag apparently that's what it cost when it came out some of you might be looking at this with a little bit of jealousy but let's try listing this so let's see what happens when you um, put in your number you get started and that doesn't work so uh, did I put that in correctly oh nope I I missed one I missed I missed a number so let's try again okay there we go there it is dragon ball z namek rebirth so there's the details you use the product it's creating a draft so this is the draft now there's the stock photo here's the description and you can uh do some additional things make it look more like your own if you want you know highlight features that you know would be a selling point you could put it in the store categories um you can put the condition you can add your own photo then you can you know just add things rock, rock the dragon there we go and we can do our fixed price thing now you can do fixed price auction i tend to do fixed price and holy cow apparently this thing sells for 90 dollars. well you know what i'm gonna list it for 120 and i'm and i'm gonna make that one of the offers and if anyone tries to shortchange me yep we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that um we've got the tax in california this should actually be 7.25 now um media mail sure you know since this is expensive let's make it eight because we're gonna ask for a signature confirmation sell internationally i don't necessarily want to do that i don't want to boost or anything and the fees are there so anyway yeah that's how it works that's how it works with the old listing now then as you can see up here, there is a try the new listing tool. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to go back. We are gonna delete delete this one and we are going to um, try selling this for the new listing, yes. All right, so we have started the new listing tool and as you can see, there are some fam familiar things. We've got your drafts, we've got templates. So it's a little bit easier 
what are you selling well let us try this once more okay there it is there it is um select the condition so they're asking you that up front let's continue to the listing and okay this is what it looks they are putting the photos and videos up front and actually that is a new feature now you can add video and some people might go well why would you add in video to your ebay listing well the reason you would probably um, add a video to your eBay listing is if you are selling like for example an Xbox or a PlayStation 5 or maybe even an iPod Classic you would want to upload a video to show that it works now that is not going to be necessary for us you can also import photos from mobile and from the web that's nice you can do the things that you were going to do before and now you have these other specifics. So you do, you can enter all of the specifics, but now it's much more compact. Um, it will automatically fill in whatever it wants to. And then if you wanna add more options, you can. You can see that it clearly and more defiantly states the item category than it did before. Here's the description, rock the drag, the dragon. And then now what's interesting is this new listing says that the average sold price is $30.42. Now, I don't know if that's because it's looking at this item or if it's giving updated um, metrics or something like that. But you know what? What the heck? We're, we're going to do that. Now, the offers is right under here. So let's click allow offers minimum off for amount. Let's say it's 35 and auto accept amount for no, not that's too much 40 or we can do the don't allow offers there you go now this one has automatically gone to the calculated shipping I don't like doing calculated shipping I like factoring in the cost of the time the handling and the packaging materials in there some people might disagree with that do what you want that's perfectly fine so I've got flat shipping but now I've got to go here and I guess we're gonna have to add the shipping cost so um, we're gonna do six dollars because that should cover everything you could also offer free shipping I don't believe in free shipping then you have international shipping um, they have a calculated shipping cost um, I'm gonna do flat and uh, let's see here I usually don't even do do that let's uh is there a way to turn this off how on earth can we turn the shipping off here um, this is not let's do the edit all options um, okay so that's how you turn off the international um, or you can check and offer local pickup I don't recommend you do that for the most part um, if you are gonna do that make sure the seller is a local and B has a lot of positive feedbacks and then you have the boost so as you can see it's really not that different in terms of practicality so basically the biggest additions I can see is that they are making the ad video feature much more prominent they're giving you easier options to import from your mobile and from the web they are condensing items but when you want to edit them then you can get all these extra options if you so choose to do it and um, by the way you could also see the eBay provided description uh, what's this um, you could also add more op options now the add more options this is basically HTML so if you know how to do HTML you can do that I happen to know a little bit of HTML and I mean that's not fancy at all but you know I, I know enough to make an HTML listing and yeah so what do I think about this well I like it I think it is practical it is good it definitely simplifies things to a certain extent and I think what eBay did was very good because what they did is they decided to update the listing feature and tools without a losing focus on why the current design works so well and not over complifying it this is simplifying it to a very reasonable degree while adding new features so personally I am a huge fan of the new listing feature but I have to pass it on to you what do you folks 
think? Do you think this is a good new addition to everything or do you think it's not so good? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.